Hey guys, Chris at Island Tech Productions here. Uh, today, uh, I've been waiting a couple months for these. It's been super popular. But it's a brand new gimbal, Zion Smooth Q. That's what I ordered and it finally came in today. So let's take a look what's inside and hopefully you get some footage today. Um, it's for your phone, but also has a plate. It came with a plate for your GoPro. I think you can put up both of a GoPro here with three, four, and a five. Um, all this came for 140 bucks. Actually, it comes with a nice lens cleaning bag or wiping thingy. Here's the plate, I believe, for your GoPro. The Smooth Q 3 axis gimbal from Zayun. Not sure if this is supposed to be a slide out box, but okay. Let's unbox it. So, one, you get the instruction manual. Definitely read this um, to see if there's any like calibration or anything like that. You get a USB, micro USB port. Um, supposedly you can charge actual phone if you have one with this item or any other USB item. And it comes with a strap. So it comes with this really nice uh, travel case uh, and it opens the right way. You put the straps up through here so it's holding in this and you can uh, basically unzip here. Um, I believe in the DJ Osmo it's down here so when you open it up then it could fall out. So I like the design already. It's kind of like a hard foamy-ish case. Overall nice case. This is it right here. It's kind of beefy. So let, let's go over the basics here. My kid's crawling around down there, so don't mind that. So basically, this will be on the right side. What's nice is there's two adjustable screws here. One here, so this can extend in and out to balance the thing. And, and then the second one is this one here. It's the holder, so you can like put it in portrait mode. And then you can open this, that's how it goes in. Uh, as you can see, there's a, the, the record button. This is actually nice because um, depending on what camera you put on here, it'll actually like link up and you can actually start recording instead of pushing it on your screen. There's a mode button, the joystick, and then you can actually zoom. You charge it here via USB. Right. There's a tripod mount. It stands up by itself, but once you get the camera in here, it can get kind of wobbly. If you route it right and it doesn't have any kinks, you can actually put the USB cable in and you should be route this to your phone. So let me... Let me open up the other box I got. So here's the plate. There's a nice handle in fact. If you you could probably use this running gun if you wanted to like this. I'll use it handheld with your GoPro. My kids are hungry. Let's see. Ooh, yep, pizza is delicious. Let's um turn that off. Turn that off. Oh, oh stop. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to install my GoPro on here. There we go. And this part facing forward. And let's get this balance at least horizontally. Swinging this way. So push it in. There we go. So as you can see, this part is forward. This is on the right side. This is uh, as balanced as I could get it. Um, and then hopefully there's enough power to turn on. Let's see. The record button is actually the power button as well. So fold that down. Get a light and boom. Mommy. It looks level. Me. 
Okay, let's see how the stealthy mode acts. I heard that this gimbal gets in the way sometimes. So with this field view, I'm gonna have to check the um, how it works though. Let's see. Oh, cool. I can put my ceremonic mic on here. So, um, let me go hook up the mic. Okay. Um. What is it? Supreme pizza? Mm -hmm. Super Supreme pizza. Super Let me try to get the right mode here. One, two, three. Why? Because I Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yummy. Mm -hmm. I was going to chase my son. Alright, I flipped it to selfie mode, so I'm gonna actually ask my wife to see if she can see something that's blocking this because it turned around, I can't, I don't have a selfie screen. Mommy, can I, can you see this? Can, what, what do you see in the back? Nothing. Can you see this? There's something on this side. Alright guys, just giving this a quick test here and trying to keep steady. You probably get the vibrations because this thing is light. I'm holding it actually at the bottom of another stick, not the handle. You guys are looking at my. You guys are looking at my. Um, A garden, lots of weeds. My corn stalks. So I'm just walking normally, I'm not trying to do anything to adjust for anything. Okay, try selfie mode. How does it look? Does it look weird? It's zooming in, it's a bumpy, I have to look at the footage. I'm gonna go under the mango tree and stuff, or my avocado trees. Oh, under the house. You know what? It's time for lunch. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some lunch now. Let's go up the stairs here. Whew, I'm tired. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I'm gonna charge everything up. I'm gonna take it out for a little adventure this afternoon. See how, see how well it works out. I know that um, I've been waiting this. I know I've been waiting for this for the last uh, couple of months, uh, two or three months. I know it's in high demand just because it's cheap. Obviously, if you're if you if you've used the Steadicam before or something, you have to learn how to walk properly. So you probably that's what you're seeing, kind of the. Uh, wobbliness and walkiness. Um, one, it's cheap, it's 140 bucks for the plate, plus the gimbal and my, the no camera again, no camera. If you have your cell phone, this takes cell phones. I'm primarily gonna be using, I'm primarily gonna be using this with the GoPro. Uh, it has a huge battery in here. I think it's like 12,000 uh, milliamps um, or something like that. They're quoting something like 12 hours. It takes both GoPros with the adapter plate obviously and regular cell phones uh, cons um, the whole thing is made of plastic um, the housing where the motors are is plastic 
the hand grip is plastic. I mean, it's not uncomfortable. It's sturdy. It's light. I mean, that's how they make it so cheap. But the construction is good. I think it's going to last a while. Just watch out if you step on it, then it might actually break the plastic. And we'll see how battery life goes. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys uh, listening in. On Hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I want to know what if you guys are using... Uh, uh, what are you guys using for your selfie stick or you know just getting your adventures around uh, again this is the Zion smooth Q as always thanks for tuning in mahalo plenty awesome you cannot see the this the, oh you can see a little bit of it oh, uh -huh. okay. all right so I can confirm that you can see the inner side of this